Hey guys, how are you tonight? All right, have another little haul video. And um, this is kind of what I've gotten for the holidays and things like that. It's kind of a combination of um, companies and things. So we're just going to roll with that. Um, put that other stuff. I don't know. Anyway, all right. So first up, um, this was my favorite little thing. Um, my friend came by. We celebrated Christmas a little bit early. And um, we worked on a scrapbook page for her dad that night and things like that. But anyway, so one of my presents from her was she brought this little house. And this is the way she presented my um, stuff. So this is like little play money, right? So it says surprise. Whoops. Shoot. <laughs> okay. So it's supposed to go surprise, frantic, stamper, and then the card number, like the... Um, the gift card number and fifty dollars so that was way cool to get a crafty um gift card kind of thing and just the way she presented it was so cute um so thanks ames and uh she also got me some other stuff she got me ornaments that are on the tree can't really show you those right now um they are of the doggies names on a little like a bone ornament and a little doggy mug this is my dog's cuter than yours <laughs> and uh, all kinds of cute stuff so but anyway, um, so this is partly what I ordered, <coughs> sorry, um, partly what I ordered with that and then uh, some other gift cards that I had to add to it. So, all right, so this one is from Woodware. It says, you are the jingle, you are the jingle jingle in my bells, holly to my jolly, bright star in my tree, kiss under the mistletoe, fruit to my cake, stuffing to my turkey, snow to my man, mold to my wine, mitten that warms my hand, very best Christmas gift. So I may have to stamp that for my boyfriend. He, he uh, I don't know, would enjoy that. All right, so then I got this Thin Lips die from Tim Holtz. Um, primarily for this die here, I saw it used, and it is just so pretty. But I think there's a lot you can do with these little dies. So, um, and that, so far, this is all from Frantic Stamper, by the way. All right, this is called um, The Signature Collection by Sarah Davies. So Chico, I guess, so lovely. And it is like little stitched lines, but to me it reminds me of like little sunbursts. So that's kind of where I'd go with it. But I mean, you could use it on a sewing card too. So that would work. Um, this is from AALL and Create. And um, it just says, follow your heart, embrace imperfection. I just like these little, these little hearts and things um, coming up for Valentine's Day. Then I saw my friend Sandy um, on the channel Crafting for Almost Anyone or Everyone, um, these Nouveau dual-tipped blender brushes, and those look really cool and really soft, and um, so I wanted to try those out. So that would give me like four tips, four colors to try it on. All right, this one um, was from Tailored Expressions, and I saw a couple of kind of like tic-tac-toe sets. Um, I can't remember where the other one was from, but anyway, uh, maybe Simon, I'm not sure, but anyway, this one says, hugs and kisses, love always wins, tic-tac-toe, I love you so, you're the X to my O, and happy Valentine's Day, and then it has the little tic-tac-toe die with it, so I think that's going to be adorable. Um, this is a, a die from Scrap Man, and this is a rose, but can you see, like, the detail on that? I feel like it's just a beautiful gothic-looking thorny rose. I think that's awesome. All right, this one is from 2D Designs. I thought this was a little tiny corner die, so I'm going to have to rethink what I was going to do with it because it's big. <laughs> All these are, I thought they were way small, but they're, they're large. Um, I still like it, but anyway, this is the Love Design, and see, it looks really small, not shown in actual size. You should read that, but um, so that could do just a whole card. So as you can tell, I'm getting ready for Valentine's Day since I basically missed the boat on Christmas because I was sick. And um, I don't think I've ever really been sick right on Christmas Eve. Like, not, you know, when the family was coming down and I was, like, worried. And, wow, it was awful. But anyway. Um, okay, so I thought, again, this would be small and this would be, like, a little border. But I still love it because now I can do a whole card. Just got to rethink, you know, what I had in my mind. So, this is the Lily Heart panel, and there's that, and 
than this, um, but I could almost use with for Valentine's Day or not. Just these swirly do. I'm sure it has a name here. Heart frame die. Um, I just like that cut out. And I don't have I have blocked letters like of love and things, but I don't have a nice little simple sentiment written out um, as a die. So I got that one. That is the frantic stamper design um, set. All right, then from Memory Box, um, I've seen samples with both of these and I couldn't decide which one I wanted, like the solid type or the open type, so I ended up with both of those. This is the double stitched hearts and then the classic double stitch heart rings. So those are kind of neat. Um, I picked up this one, it's the stitched circle heartscape. I wanna do maybe a little shaker card or something with that. It's pretty neat. And this is from Memory Box as well. This is the Wrapped Stitch Hearts. And it's just heart dies with the stitching. I'm all about some stitching. Um, these are by Poppy Stamps, and which is pretty much Memory Box, but they're basically the same company. Um, one kind of there, and one arch or whatever you call it. So I really like those. Um, got this. It's it's very small, you know, but it just adds a little chk to your card. Um, Alright, so this is the Weeping Willow Branches. Let's open this up because I want to see this one. Myself. What size is. Okay, cool. Good deal, good deal. Um, very pretty. I think I'll use that a lot. I thought I already had it, but I couldn't find it, so I guess I don't. Maybe I just looked at it a lot. Um, this is something that came out a good while back, but I I wasn't drawn to it then. But now, like I, I saw it, and became obsessed with it quickly. So um, this is the Alta New Botanical U die, and so it cuts that out. This is the stamp set, um, and you keep you layer like you 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 know. So happy birthday to you. You mean everything to me. So grateful for you. Uh, you are so kind. Can't wait to hug you. Also happy for you. Just for you. You amaze me. I adore you. Um, you will do great things. You make my heart happy. Anyway, so, um, but it kind of, this gives you a better image, I guess, of how it would stack up. But I think it just looks so pretty. And I know it's probably going to be spring before I really use it, but I just love that. And I just, I don't know, I felt the need to get it now. Could have waited, I guess. But, all right. Um, then at Simon Says Stamp, I picked up this die, um, stamp and die set. It's called Ornate Love. And it has a lot of detail there, if you guys can see that. Um, this must be love. All you need is love. Uh, makes me think of the Beatles, you know, of course. Um, a crazy little thing called love. I really like that, so... Had to have that one. Um, then, my new, my latest obsession is Lavinia stamps. And I really just started looking more at the site and things. And oh my God, I'm so floored by these. I've always liked fairy stamps and things like that. But um, I didn't, I wish I would have looked. I like these sayings. And because I already have some fairy stamps. But um, I wish I would have looked at their stuff more before I place the order, so I could have ordered a few little fairies to go from there to go with these. But anyway, it says, hand in hand in the forest so green, they dance in the moonlight never to be seen. I think that's so cool. Um, dance with the fairies and talk to the moon. And the stars are shining, the moon grows bright, the fairies are waiting to dance through the night. I like that one. Then um, they sent me this as a free gift. Um, you guys remember the floral punch stuff? Um, I used to have the hardest time in the world punching these, and I'd buy all this crap, and I would try so hard, and you could layer it and do all this stuff, and these were the hardest things in the world to punch for me. So I'm kind of glad these went away, but it's kind of cool. It's just a throwback to, to see that. Um, so then I picked up a couple of sheets of this paper from American Crafts. Picked up one sheet of this. It's just kind of a pinkish tint, wood grain look. Um, they also threw this in free 
just when well, I'll, I'll tell you about the scrapbooking thing in my life soon. What I've decided to do or not do or whatever. Um, so, hang on. There's more. So, these things now are from Hobby Lobby. I picked up another tool-in-one. Um, the needle part of mine was gone. This you can rub across like fancy dies or whatever and get the stuff out. Well, that part's still good, but I cannot find the needle part. And without the needle part, like... It just, I don't know, it's really not any good. Um, so I love this so much. I was so happy to find that. All right, this, um, everything Sizzix was, I want to say 40% off. So I didn't even have to have a coupon, so it's pretty cool. Or maybe it's 50% off, I don't remember. But anyway, um, framelits with stamps, happy birthday, feel better soon. Pretty generic stamps and all, but I just really like the little frames. So, um, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, this Thin Let's Die. Don't see a name on it, but yeah. Anyway, um, it's got the little pine cone, and um, it's more of a holiday stuff, but that's okay. And then a rose embossing folder. I thought that would be nice for Valentine's Day. Um, a love die. And I guess you just can see it there. And then the Spellbinder dies were on sale as well, and I just really like that. You can wrap the vine all around it, add some flowers, just kind of fancy stuff up pretty quick. And um, I don't know how I'm doing on time. Let me slide this out. Okay, so let me show you my Unity stamps, if I can reach them real quick here. All right, I got a Unity order in, a little fox, foxy and fabulous. Dropping stuff, um, the hearts, a frame called Tenderness, a frame called Delectable, and I think that'll be beautiful for Valentine's, and uh, this, hold on to your truth, your faith, your peace, your you, follow your heart, so that's pretty cool, um, and this says, freezing my snowballs off over here, happy winter, and one second. And uh, this was really cute. It says, you decorate my life. And it's just got a little owl, like decorating or whatever for the holidays. And then I got one little free stamp as a gift somewhere floating around here. I don't feel it in there, but it says happy. And they included some tags this time. So, all right, guys, I think that is my haul. And I'm going to get back to crafting now that I'm feeling better and happy to do so. Um, I said I, I want to craft at least tomorrow. We're going to go out, but now it's going to pour the rain and stuff. So we're not opening presents until Friday. And then we've got to go out on Saturday, do some shopping. Hopefully something will be left at the, um, you know, the markdowns and things like that. Uh, we'll see. And um, and then we have a, a New Year's Eve party to go to and a few little things coming up. And so anyway, um but I want to squeeze in at least a day or so of crafting if possible. Um, so you might see a New Year's card. And actually, you guys are going to see some backup holiday cards because, like I said, we are celebrating with his family a little bit later. So I'm still going to do a little tag and um, a card for him at least that you guys will probably see. So, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. And I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Stay warm. Bye.